Morning guys, welcome back to the One Auto channel. My name's Rob, I've got here behind me this. It's a Honda Jazz 1.4 automatic 2007. It's in today for a service, I'm not going to be recording that, but also because the engine management light is on, we're going to show you what it is and how to fix it. Alrighty, I've got the Autel set up on this one already. So we'll read the codes. Um, it was what I expected it to be, to be fair, when you get these in. Basically a P0420, which means the uh, catalytic converter isn't working. Uh, it's working it out because it's uh, sensing oxygen at the rear oxygen sensor because the cat's not doing its thing. So, um, pretty common, really. I've had this before with uh, these little Honda Jazzies. Um, when I go in live data, just want to show you... Uh, the reason why the uh, computer is putting the light on. So we want the heated oxygen sensor and we want the second one as well. We'll just show those two. Okay, and we'll graph them. One like that, one like that. In fact, let's merge the graphs together. Get that big up. Like right, the scales are out here. Let's see if I can adjust the scales. There we go, so the blue line wants to be fluctuating up and down like it is. This is just idling at the moment, engine's warm. The blue line here, which is your front oxygen sensor, that wants to be fluctuating as it is. Basically that's fluctuating there between zero and uh, just under a volt, that's great. The rear one, however, when the gases are going through the catal catalytic converter, they want to be doing their thing and that wants to be pretty, pretty mid-range, uh, that green line, and steady. As you can see, it's not. So if I increase the revs now, we've got it working. You can see that the uh, the second sensor is sensing oxygen. So basically, the catalytic converter is not doing its job. So this one needs a cat. I'll talk to the customer, price it up for him, and we'll take it from there. Okay, we're back. It's the next day. Guy took the car home last night, had to order the cat in, it's come in this morning. So we've got ourselves a brand new catalytic converter. There's a number on there if you want it, if it's any good to anyone. Maybe not, comes with fitting kit. Happy days with that. So, um, we need to release the wiring for the front oxygen sensor and the rear oxygen sensor the, to do the job properly. The rear oxygen sensor, um, you, to get to it you need to remove the, uh, to get to the connector you need to remove the centre console. I'll just quickly show you that and then we'll go up in the air and look underneath. Okay, first things first, centre console, you're going to have two, this one actually didn't have them in, but you're going to have uh, a couple of um, there, trim clips that go in there, one each side. And then you need to come to the back of the car, and this has got rear door so happy days. And then down here, uh, you've got just there a Phillips screw. I've took these out already. And um, another one's just going to go in there. And then what you need to do, come back in, pop the uh, centre console out around the, it just clips in around this uh, shifter here. Lift it up and set it over just to one side. I'm not disconnecting the, um, power source or the cigarette lighter and then you're looking for the grey down here so let's get, get the bearings there's your shifter there and just here that grey plug I've unplugged it that's what you need to do that's the one for the rear oxygen sensor and it goes down through the through the floor down there there's a rubber grommet down there so we'll go underneath I'll show you what's what right back underneath the vehicle I don't remember where I was, it's been about three hours since I last filmed. Doing coil springs and alternators and everything. Right, there we go, rear oxygen sensor. That is where I've unplugged it. Push the grommet through. And, oh, we can still see it like that. Good. So, we'll just pull that out. The hole, there we go. Now when we lower it down, we can spin out that uh, sensor onto the new one. Now the other one, plugs in I can get a bit of light up there the other one plugs in 
up there. I don't know if you can see that grey plug up there. Now I've seen people change these caps on these Honda Jazzies and just spin out the um, oxygen sensor without unplugging it. There it is. And to be quite honest, you can end up damaging the wiring. So for the sake of a little bit more extra effort, uh, taking out a wire clip, a retainer, a couple of those. That plug is slightly undone because I needed to do it two hands and I did it from the top. So there we go, I'll just slide it out. Front sensor goes into the front of the cap, just there. And we've just got three bolts to undo on the exhaust. Two there, one there. And then it looks like a two bolt fixing up there onto the manifold. Right, with this undone, they look like 17s. So up there, 14 mil. Just a bolt with a sprung with a spring around it, so you can only tighten it up to that shank just there. Turn it, you're not damaging the wiring. So, the long one there, the, the long white one is the front, and this black one is the rear. So, we know we've got no problems with these, we've seen them working. Cool, right, we'll just put a bit of uh, high temperature grease copper grease in this instance, try not to get it on there, Robbie. That's my back one. That's for the front one. Snug that up. Like that. Snug that one up too. Cool. Let's get it back on the car. Right in this fitting kit, then we get one of these, which is the seal for there onto the exhaust, which is like a crushed down sort of washer, really. And then basically, yeah, we've just got new, uh, sorry, new bolts like this. 
with springs, new springs. We've got a new seal, so I'll try and pop that on. And also you get uh, some new mats. Right. Let's see if the seal will come off. Right, let's leave it up there with the bar. Now we're moving. Excellent. Hopefully the new one fits on there. Sometimes you get them they don't fit. That one does. Cracking job. Let's make sure that these bolts fit their respective thread holes. Indeed they do. Now once again we'll put on some uh, high temp grease on these to aid installation. And the other one. Springs over the top. Ready to go. So, came out like that in a little turn, didn't we? There we are. Let's go on the bolt. Started. Let's pull these up. The ratchet. Small size one, look at it. Yeah, these are 12s. Okay. Right, of course, we don't need those copper nuts that are in the, uh, in the, in the set because these, it hasn't got the original exhaust, which obviously was studded and you'd need those nuts. So, anyway, let's put uh, that ceiling ring in there. Sit it there nicely. We'll use the nuts and bolts we took off of it. Nothing wrong with those. Okay, next thing, get that sensor plug back through the hole into the car. I'll put the grommet in from under here, like so. And then this one, fold that back up above the roll bar. Right, so I've just fed the front oxygen sensor, fed the wire back up where it came from. There's a clip that's mounted to the gearbox it needs to go on to. There we go, that's on. And the wire goes into a little bracket. Like that. There you go, there's a better look at the uh, downpipe flange there with the new bolts and springs. All right, I've got the centre console all back where it should be. And the uh, Rear O2 sensors all plugged back in. So first of all, uh, ignition is on. I'm going to just read the, read the codes. I'm going to clear this code down. There's the P0420 that we had. And we're going to erase them. Engine, ignition on, engine off, yes. Yes, we do want to get rid. Turn the ignition switch off. Off. 
Okay, let's turn it back on. We'll just read the code, make sure that's gone. That's it, gone. So just back off road test with a nice warm engine. Uh, rear O2 sensor holding steady about 0.88 and the front one oscillating between zero and a volt. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that. So just raising the revs there to about 2,000. Just over 2,000. Beautiful. That's the Honda Jazz sorted P0420 new catalytic converter fitted. The customer's going to have this back now. He's, uh, he's off on his travels over Christmas, visiting family and what have you. So uh, got some miles to do, he needed it sorted. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's of use to somebody, give us a thumbs up. If you like the videos, please subscribe to the channel around about there. Don't forget to connect to me, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Thanks for watching.